Hello DC fans, this is JAR369 and welcome back for another figure review. Today I'll be taking a look at the Mc McFarlane Toys, the, the new Batman Adventures Bane figure made by McFarlane Toys and originally made by DC Direct slash Collectibles. Take a look at the packaging. It's just the usual packaging with the image with the window exposing the figure and the accessories. You can see the cool artwork image of Batman, Nightwing, and Robin. You get the new Batman Adventures logo right there. You get the same thing on top. McFarlane Toys, McFarlane Toys logo right there. Recommend for HS4 Plus his name. On the side, you get a cool artwork image of Bane here. On the other side, just his name. On the back, same artwork image. So that's about it. Let's take out Bane out of the package. Here is Bane out of the package. Let's take a closer look at the figure. Uh, take a look at the head sculpt there. Yeah, the, the mask looks pretty good. It looks really looks really good at all. It looks exactly like how he is in the uh, the new Batman Adventures series. So yeah, very luchador on him. You can see the red eyes there and you can see the teeth grinning. And there's like some shades of grayish color right there with some like white dots on it and you can see there's like a little tube right there that's like connected to his arm right there for the venom and you could like look that color there which is very pointy and spiky i would say uh take a look at his whole body here you can see this dude like the upper waist is so big yeah the arms are big everything was is big and take a look at the hands you can see the fingerless gloves here and you can see some of the spike on his right hand i mean on his right hand there and on the left hand you can see there's like a little venom thing here as well nothing much on the leg just plain black except on the bottom there's like white stripes there probably a, a reference to a, the luchador boots there Nothing much on the feet. And on the bottom, there's two peggles in the bottom of his feet and some legalese there. But overall, for the figure itself, it's pretty good. I say it, I say originally DC Collectibles did a really a great job with this figure. And I'm very happy with this figure. Well, even though I don't own the original DC Collectibles, but I'm very happy to have this guy into my collection. So yeah. Moving on to articulation, the head, there's like a little ball jointed at the head here. There's the rotation at the arms here. It does go in and out. Then at the elbows, rotate, wrist to rotate, and does have the hinge. Ab movement there, and a little bit of waist rotation. Legs kick forward and back, in and out, bend at the knees. Rotate at the boots, ankles to go pivot forward back, and then go pivot side to side. So yeah, just a standard Batman the Animated Series articulation, but you can still give him some decent amount of possibilities. Yeah, be careful with the wire here. Accessories, he does quite come with just a few interchangeable hands accessories. Let me try to make him stand up. There we go. He does come with quite a few interchangeable hands. You get the, like the, I'm going to grab you type hands. You get like, looks like, looks like a, uh, like card holding hands for no cards that he does not come with. And of course, gripping hands, but sadly he doesn't come with any accessories that he can hold on to. And also he does come with a display stand. And also a a reproduction animation sale with his image on here. You get the, the new Batman Adventures logo on the back. He is from episode Over the Edge, season one, episode 11. And everything when the air date, of course. So yeah. But overall for the figure itself, I'd say uh, Bane did a really great job with this. I mean, McFarlane did a really great job with this Bane figure. That's what I'm trying to met. 
Yeah, well, originally DC Collectibles did, but again, still really not too bad, but with the soft plastic on the, um, from McFarlane. The sculpting on the figure looks pretty good. Articulation, well, very animated articulation, but you can still give him some decent amount of posabilities. Yeah, I'm really happy that McFarlane re-released this figure in case if anyone missed out on, on this Bane figure. At the end of the day, I say this figure is a, definitely a must-have for your collection if you're a big fan of Bane figure. Also, there's like the animated series version of Bane from the from the from the original appearance that McFarlane showed at Comic Con, I believe. I I forgot or Toy Fair, I forgot. But that one, but that one's been replaced with well, Wave three with the Maxi Seuss Wave. So I'm not sure how. So when will I'm not sure when will that wave release? Maybe I'll get that version of Bane as well. But in the meantime, I'm good with this with this um Bane figure. I still I still think they did really that McFarlane did a really great job with this figure. Well, originally DC collectibles. I highly recommend getting this figure. For my rate, I'm gonna give Bane a nine out of ten for me. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please consider like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And follow me on Instagram and threads. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This is the, the new Batman Adventures Bane figure made by McFarlane Toys. Originally made by DC Collectibles slash Direct. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on my next review. And remember, keep on collecting.